Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with uh, another transmission from MacTac Keyboards. And today we are taking a look at a keyboard that from everything I'm getting is highly anticipated. Now, I received the, this keyboard um, a little over two weeks ago now. I've had time to play with it. I've had time to use it. I actually use it for a few days without a numpad, but it's been the holidays, so I haven't really been having to do too much work. From the second I took this out of the box, I was completely, I mean, just a little background. I, I, I know the group behind this keyboard um, since I've been doing this. I've had the opportunity and um, I'm very appreciative of the opportunity to meet some really wonderful and interesting people that are part of the keyboard industry. And um, these guys, we just hit it off and next thing i know you know they're they're saying hey we're, we're we've decided to go ahead and release a keyboard we want you to be one of the first to take a look at it and um i felt quite honored they sent me out this one which was a prototype at the time i believe um they're getting units in i believe in the next week now i do know that the keyboard is starting on kickstarter but it is going to be on stock wobkey.com which is the company and this is the rainy 75 they've got a lot of plans um, which i can't really share right now but as as they grow as things happen um i will be one if not of, of many sources that of that will provide information i went around i actually did film um, the impressions of my wife and kids but i'm gonna wait a little while before i do i include them in videos uh, so, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, every one of them, as soon as they took it out and I was like, here, hold it, type on it. You know, so they would be, first they, they thought it was beautiful. Um, including my son. He was like, wow, that's pretty. Um, he actually likes blues and purples. As soon as everyone took it out, they got a chance to hold it, to take a look at the, uh, the mirrored finish at the bottom. And then they, you know, set it down and started typing on it. And they were like, my wife was like, have they done something different? Is this a new type of keyboard? Is this something that's have new technology that hasn't been done before? And I'm like, no, it's just a, an extremely well-engineered keyboard. 2023 has been just filled with, wow, look at that keyboard. I mean, I'm, I plan to, it's probably not going to be ready before the end of the year. I have hours waiting in my editing bay but so many great keyboards have come out and i'm gonna do kind of my picks what what stood out to me as far as 2023 um keyboards go so um because i haven't done the one of those in a while the, the couple that i have done actually gotten a lot of views so probably should do them a little bit more often but i've been too busy just individually with the keyboards plus I mean, I know it sounds silly, but sometimes I just like to build a keyboard at my desk without the camera on. I mean, not that this feels like work per se, because it isn't. Um, I enjoy what, what I'm doing. And I mean, to be quite honest, I'm almost to 4,000 subscribers. Thank you, everyone that has subscribed. I never thought I'd reach 400 subscribers, let alone 4,000. So uh, uh, I enjoy it. I will continue doing it as long as I'm capable of doing it. And I'll continue to be honest. I'm not trying to do this to make a living or, you know, earn money. I mean, yes, I do like the, the fact that I get to try out different keyboards. That's pretty much my payout. Other than that, there's no, I'm not looking to do this for any sort of financial gain. I enjoy doing this. So I, I'll make mistakes, but please call me out. But I do my best to be honest and give you my true opinion at that time. Of course, opinions change. Things change. Um, you know, sometimes I like a keyboard, then after using it for a while, I like it even more or I like it even less because X, Y, and Z. So I, I want to continue to do that. I actually have written out some ideas for some different 
segments, you know, things that you can expect. That's why, I, you know, I, I have the technical section, which with mo a lot of my videos. My point was that, of course, you know, I was like, oh, it looks really nice. And I liked everything that I saw on paper when they first told me about it. Then it arrived and I was, I was not expecting something this great. Not that, nothing against them, nothing. It was basically, I had told myself to dampen my expectations so that I wouldn't be let down, you know, if there was something about it, you know. And that's, that was just me trying to be level-headed as possible, you know, so that I could still be honest, but I, you know, didn't have to be mean about it, things that I found that I might not like. And then I received it, and I was like, oh, wow. Um, I mean, there is... There is only one other keyboard this year that is really like, I mean, stood out to me. There's been a list of keyboards that have stood out from all the rest. But then there's been two keyboards, this one and another one, that have really stood out from that group of standouts. Um, and, I mean, the way that this one sounds, uh, the features that it has, uh, the the combinations you can do i know they don't have that many colors but they they do cover the the base palette um the the fact that i mean you can start at 99 dollars with switches and keycaps an aluminum keyboard that has a mirror weight and i think the most that it goes up to for the three mode is to 129. Um, and different weights and colors, but I mean, and you do have your different choice of switches. I have only a, a few of these that I was able to do, and I'll, at the end you'll see a, a sound test um, with uh, basically just a, a double exposure so that you can kind of see, because I really was only able to do the alphas, but these have the HMX violet switches, and these are the JWK. Both of these are linear switches. Um, I have a lot of plans for this keyboard, obviously sound testing with and without the foams um, and doing with, with uh, tactile. Um, I get why they, they did the linears because, I mean, it really, although I think it's going to sound great with tactiles, but oh my goodness, this just sounds lovely. So, like I said, uh, because of my family being here, the holidays and everything, I had a lot of people play with the the keyboard. Um, obviously, being careful, but a lot of <laughs> some were expecting a light keyboard, but I handed it to them. But I kept my hands underneath because they were like, "Whoa, that was an ex this is metal." <laughs> and um, some of the reactions were actually uh, quite funny. The way that this keyboard is built. Let's go ahead and. Uh, I mean, yes, I've been using it for a little while, but I have not done any mods to it. Um, and I haven't actually really taken it apart. Uh, so, yes, they do come. It is a pre-built that comes with plate-mounted stabilizers. But it has the ability for PCB-mounted stabilizers. So that's one of the things that I'll be doing. I may at some point actually, you know, I mean, they can't just keep sending me keyboards. I may buy one in a different color so that I can have some... Uh, two different ones to do a side by side uh, for different mods or um, you know combinations like one with this with you know, both of them loaded up with the same switch but one with foam and one without foam or you know some combinations of that but the uh, pleat mounted stabilizers that they have are have perfect tolerances they are very well attached to the plate and they are this palm style um, which I've seen on just a few other keyboards, they're they're pretty good stabilizers. I mean, I, I prefer plate mount, uh, PCB mounted stabilizers when possible, and I like I said, I will be putting some in there. But um, if I had to pick plate mounted, these are what what I'd pick. Now, uh, by stand, standard, it comes with a PC plate. It is south facing, and it does support via both wired and over the 2.4 if you have the three mode version. Um, basically, they show up as a USB device. Now, you do have to use the JSON files, uh, but you can configure all the layers. I have not, besides my basic macros and um, key mappings, I have not really gone in there and done a full test 
and I do need to do that. Um, I don't want to make any excuses. Obviously, it's the holidays, and I mean, family comes first. So there's a lot of things that I'm going to get to. Uh, if you ha you have any questions, any things that you want me to take a look at, please let me know, and I'll do my best to add it to. Because I'm sure I will be doing several videos on this one. Like I said, I plan to pick another one up just for myself. Um, so that I can test the different plates, different uh, combinations of the foam, different switches, different keycaps, um, different weights. So there's there's a lot more to come. But I uh, actually I was expecting to have this ready much sooner. But life happens. I blinked. I mean, one day it was Thanksgiving. Then I blinked and then it was almost Christmas. And one of my kids' birthdays is on Christmas Eve. So uh, Christmas week is a much bigger deal, um, let's just say. So, yeah, so we do have um, a layer of IX or IPXE or IXPE. Why do I always say that wrong? We have a layer of IXPE. And we also have a PET layer. Um, this, this, it's part of what gives it that very distinct sound signature so and i still i'm working on a whole video of doing the pet mod though ldpe plastic works just as well basically well we'll get into that later on so anyway um you do have the choice of the hmx switch and you do have the choice of the jwk uh they're both quite nice um linears they uh believe they are pre-looped because neither one of them have any ping whatsoever um, this one that I have loaded up is primarily with the HMX we do have uh, double shot keycaps these keycaps come measuring in at 1.4 millimeter so we have a nice um, distinct it's, it's very distinct sound I mean I it's not knock it's not cream although I've heard some people refer to it as cream. I think we need a new word to describe this. I mean, I think raindrops on, a, on, on glass. I know it's not quite that, but that's kind of what it makes me think of. But um, what do you think is a good word? We need a new word for to describe this sound profile. But the long keys, beautiful. Now, underneath the caps lock key, we uh, actually do have um, the ability to do stepped caps as well. And, oh. I need to make sure which way it's oriented first. Some of these are sideways. I, Like I said, I still have yet to take this apart. Um, that is going to be on a longer video. I want to make sure that I have the time to, to really break it down. But basically... You can see there's one post over there. There's one post, I believe, right there. And I think that's it. I think those are the two that are holding it down. But that's going to come real soon because I, I myself want to get into it. I was hoping to have already gotten into it, but I haven't. So there's the on and off switch. Obviously, you can still plug it in and go wired. And it's nice that it's already pre-programmed. So the uh, caps on key turns white when it's on. If otherwise, it goes to the effect for the rest of the keyboard. But, I mean, we do have some nice and bright LEDs. The plate is quite nice. I mean, it holds the, the switch in, but it doesn't hang on to it. So, um, shouldn't be a, a lot of wrestling with that. Like I said, uh, I... I do believe that the other plates will be here uh, before the end of the year, if I'm not mistaken. So at that point, I think that's when it makes sense to go ahead and go open it up because not only can I take a look at what construction we've got inside, what's what magic sauce is doing all this. I really think it's just a combination of all the materials. Just the specs. Today we are taking a look at the Rainy 75 from WOB Key. It is a custom, wired, or three mode 75% made out of 6063 aluminum. 
It weighs in at 1,823 grams, fully loaded, and has the choice of either a 3,500 or 7,000 milliamp hour battery with NTC technology that charges at 5 volt and 2 amp, which means quicker charge. It is available in several colors, an anodized black or silver, electrophoresis, white, blue, or pink. It does come preloaded with HMX or JWK linear switches and double shot PBT keycaps matching the colorway of the keyboard. It has the availability for a split space, stepped caps, and has some extra plates available. And you can also install screw-in PCB stabilizer. The chin of this keyboard sits at 22 millimeters above the typing surface, while the back sits at 38 millimeters, providing for a typing angle of nine degrees. This keyboard will be available starting at $99 and going up to $129. So there we are, this is the WOB Key 75. It's hard for me to say it, Rainy 75. WOB Key, WOB Key. WOB key, rainy 75. So we are, we have it in the Electro Forces, Electro, ele, I'm just gonna say Electro, Electro Forces. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Um, it's a process of coloring the aluminum. So uh, the black and the silver is anodized and the blue, pink, and let me see, the blue, the pink, and the white our electro forces, or I'm just gonna say electro. So the keycaps that come with it are double shot, 1.4 millimeter, um, and they do come in the color way that matches. Uh, they don't have any extra keys, but at this price, it's honestly hard for me to complain. I mean, obviously, um, you know, if I wanna get a different keycap set, I mean, I, I think Hyperfuse would probably look really good on here, although I can think of a few others. Um, but, I mean, to be quite honest, in my impression of the keyboard, it would still be good at the price it is without any switches or keycaps. So the fact that it actually has switches and keycaps, a few extra switches, it would be nice to see a few extra keycaps. But again, that's I think that's just a minor uh, nitpick. Um, you know, if nothing else, a different escape key, you know, and enter key so you could... or the purple keys in blue in case you just wanted to have it. Although I like it. So, but you know, everybody's taste is different. Um, the way that this performs, uh, the 2.4 is instant. Um, the Bluetooth took a, like three seconds on my Linux machine, um, was almost immediate on my Windows machine. I, I don't, I think it was probably just my adapter. Um, I've seen it just lag the first connection. From there on, as soon as I would switch it to that device position, it was instantly on. Like I said, the, uh, the VIA files, which I will um, link below, um, allow you, there's two VIA files, one for if you're connected via 2.4 and one for wired. I just prefer to do it wired, but for those that are always using you know, 2.4, then you can use uh, that file, but you're gonna need to load it in the design tab. Um, and if you guys need any help with that, let me know. I do have an, uh, a video that applies the same, it's just for the Mons Geek, that will basically walk you through the steps of how you load the file so that you can configure it in your web browser, um, in Chrome-based web browsers that have the, um, I forgot what, what extension specifically, but it's on by default so that it can have access to your USB device. All right, I want to uh, give a shout out to Mango Tango Fox for bringing this up in the midst of just the craziness of everything that's been going on during the holiday season. I completely forgot to check for VIA compatibility um, on the uh, Rainy 75. So I'm just here on layer number one or the second layer. And if I select um, the any key, now it does accept some key codes like KC home. Okay, so if I do KC A, all right, it'll accept that. And so it, I've got it mapped as the A. And if I go over here and start pressing it. All right, that works. I can map a regular key. 
But if I come over to, oh, gotta switch back over to the, uh, to that layer, go to special, select any, and then I wanna do a uh, control, uh, like say control C. Now I wanna map that. I would go to, I would add KC left control or LCTL, and then the letter that I'm trying to map to. None of the, um, I can't put something in the parens there because it just doesn't work. If I do the uh, long form, that still will not allow me to do the QMK key code that I'm looking at here. Let's try like this. See. So that's what right control and C, but it does not allow me to add it. Now, like I said, I can clear this out and I have a selection from the drop down, but it's specific modes, RGB toggle, brightness, saturation, and um, cycling blue, uh, the backlight on and off. Um, so it does not seem to have full via implementation. And there is no QMK source that I'm aware of. Um, I did reach out to WOB key and I asked them about a firmware and there was a firmware update, um, which I ran and I still don't have the ability to do it. So um, they're obviously implementing uh, the key or they're implementing the communication protocol for VIA, but they're not doing it through a VIA key map from a QMK source. Um, or that would be my guess. So uh, while you can map basic keys to it, a key combination uh, to the all key does not seem possible. So this seems to be an issue with a lot of these, or basically any keyboard that has VIA, but you can't find the QMK source for it, it's more than likely gonna have this issue. I don't think I've come across a keyboard yet that is VIA only, um, especially the ones that implement via wireless with the 2.4 that have an actual full via implementation so i do think that as customers we need to speak up i know i am communicating this uh, to wob key and trying to let them know how important it is it's not just hey look we have via if it's broken it's not a full implementation so using via to sell a product when it's not an actual it's not fully via, so it's not truly via. Um, it just seems a little disingenuous to me. So I, again, I want to thank Mango Tango Fox. Most of the key com or most keys you can rebind to, no problem. It's these key combinations like Control C, Control A, C. You know, uh, uh, if you want to map a key to some key combination, and you know, you don't need a macro. You just want to map one key to that key combination, um, it does not look like this will allow you to do it. So I just wanted to bring that up. And again, thanks to Mango Tango Fox for bringing this to my attention. Like I said, I still have to dig into it a little more. I've been using it and just enjoying it. Like, <laughs> like I, I, I usually always have a uh, text editor open um, just for random things. And I will just catch myself switching over there and just typing random things in there just oh I need to take this note down and, yeah and I just because it's just it, it's it really is um enjoyable it's just not only is it I mean obviously the switch has something to do with it it's very light but it's it's not like too light and it's the satisfying the sound as well as the feel come together to create just a satisfying experience. And uh, I mean, obviously you want to get flex, you got flex, even with all the foam um, that's in there. Uh, but see, I don't have anything against foam. I like foam, especially when it helps to tune it to something like this. Um, though I want to try different combinations and see you know, how different we can get it to sound like. 
I mean, for a stock aluminum, free built, have a space bar that sounds like that. So there it is. Again, I will come back and do a more in-depth video. Um, you guys know I am, you know, completely honest. You know, if there's something that comes across and there's things I don't like about it, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna speak up. I, you know, said my couple little nitpicks here with the switch. You know, having to be under a key and it not having at least a couple of extra keys. When you consider the value proposition, it's just it's hard to argue with it because it's such. I mean, even if you had to tune it, you know, and mod it to get it to sound half this good, I'd probably say, hey, it's not a bad deal. But it's, this is what it sounds like out of the box. It's just, <laughs> I mean, it, it, it really, it just changes the game. I, I, I have only continued to see keyboards get better and better. I mean, I... I love doing this. I love getting to play with keyboards. I love getting to find different sounds and reviewing stuff and finding, you know, good things, bad things, whatever. It's just, it's a fun little adventure that I don't have to leave the house and there's no danger other than maybe a little shock or breaking a hot swap socket. Knock on wood. Anyway, um, like I said, I, I, I look forward to what they have in store. Um, uh, the little that I do know, I, sworn to secrecy so i will release things you know when they say it's okay i'm i i look forward um to seeing everybody else's reaction because there's a lot of people that are already um um very interested in this board and i will see but very likely i will get them to do a giveaway um, of at least one, if not a couple of these on budget keeps. Uh, out of all the keyboards I've reviewed, um, not only this year, but over the past couple of years, this one and another one, there's two that really just stand out above the group of standouts. So they're, I mean, I hate to use S tier or goaded or, but it's just, it, it's a keyboard that stands out. And then that's just without even considering the price. Once you throw the price in there, the value just goes through the roof. And it's it's just a good deal. Um, and and I think these guys just they, they hit it out of the park. They, they they really they struck gold and both my wife and I we love the their little uh, logo for the rainy rainy day. So um because, I mean, rainy days don't have to be sad. I like rainy days. They're nice. It's like, okay, you know. Especially if I had something to do outside. It's raining. Well, can't do it today. It's raining. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed uh, this review. Like I said, I'm going to be going much more in depth. And I plan several videos because um, I'm just... I'm just interested. Uh, they sent out this board to me, obviously, in exchange for my review. But... Um, you know, there's that. That's it. They don't have any input on this, and they're not asking me to make X number of videos. I want to make these videos because I want to not only see how it's constructed, but also to see the different sounds that I can get out of this. So, um, thanks to WOB Key. Uh, this is for a starter, starting out of the gate with a champion, with a winner. This is a this is a great keyboard, and um, I I anybody looking for 75 percent this is just the recommendation i know there's going to be something that i need a knob not every keyboard needs to have a knob anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed if you have any questions anything that you want me to cover um in the in the future videos that i do uh any questions you have before you know if you're considering wanting to buy it uh just put them down in the comments below below i do my best to answer uh, as many comments as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you with uh, both the sound test with the HMX Violet as well as with the JWK, but just on a few of the alpha keys with um, uh, double exposure so that you can see where the keys are at. Anyway, until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on. <laughs>